Hi everyone, welcome to QNAP Live. I'm Sam, the product manager of QNAP. Today we are going to introduce one important release, uh, QDS Hero H4.5.2. And here is what we'll be discussing. Uh, I will let you know what's the news in H4.5.2 and give you a quick live demo. After that, uh, let's quickly recap the QDS Hero operating system and what's the NAS model we recommended. Okay, about the, this new release, uh, there are two important features and uh, several updates. First one is definitely the SNES Sync. It's the cost-effective, easy-to-use replication solution for backup, data protection, and the disaster recovery purpose. It's configured uh, through the mirror relationship between two NAS. Uh, it can sync a replica to keep it up to date with the change that has been writing to the primary. The mirror of enterprise data is created in a secondary storage site at a remote site. So you can uh, fail over the data from secondary in the event of a disaster at the primary site. With SNESync, uh, you can reduce the total cost of DR, uh, make it easier to justify the DR investment, and put your DR site to act active uh, the business use. Also, uh, SNESync is a bug label uh, function can back up the uh, variable uh, bugs via the snapshot, uh, which is the most uh, lightweight and the bandwidth savings. And the key file can be efficiently uh, backed up in remote location. Uh, with the incremental replication, the same data is never sent twice. So um, SNESync recovery time are also faster than other methods uh, because the uh, restore only requires a full backup and the lesser dif different uh, backup. The disaster recovery plan will be launched in very short time. And besides the uh, schedule snacing, we provide a, a more advanced real-time snacing function can allow the primary NAS and the secondary, secondary NAS to keep the data synchronization anytime and anywhere. And the key data can get the latest, most complete and instant backup. Uh, both sides are always keep the same data. And uh, that's why we say the, the RPO can equals zero. And if unfortunately disaster happened, uh, the IT guys can quickly stop the snacing task and of the secondary NAS and uh, modify the IP address to let it be same as your primary NAS. Or just change the setting of production server over your VMware or Windows DFS server to remount to your, the shared storage of the uh, to your secondary NAS. By the way, if you want to use the real-time snacing, here I list the best practice of, for the configuration. First, the I.O. performance of the secondary NAS should be the same as your primary NAS. That means no matter the NAS model or disk model why you choose on the primary NAS, the secondary NAS should be the same. And the second, Condition is a uh, network environment latency should be uh, less than 10 milliseconds as far as possible. For uh, this requirement, we strongly recommend you should uh, directly connect the primary NAS and the secondary NAS with a 25 gig Ethernet adapter. And for more detail of uh, recommendation configuration, then you can refer to our uh, white paper on our QNAP website. And we do the test in our uh, QNAP lab. Before the snacing, the produ production server connect to uh, primary NAS as a 10 gig Ethernet can reach the full bandwidth around uh, 1150 megabyte per second. And after you, uh, after we enable the real time snacing, the performance only decreases 10%, but also can provide the uh, 1000 megabyte per second. And the snacing is not only for the DR purpose, but also good for the copy data management. Uh, why we need the uh, CDM copy data management? Uh, because when you're running the important business, uh, you may worry about its impact the performance of your production servers. So 
with the snaking and snake shop, you can leverage the uh, replicate data to run the complex uh, analysis on secondary NAS copy with the data copy. Here I list the five major benefits of the snake sync. The most important one, of course, is the uh, lowest uh, RPO to let you reduce the downtime and protect against uh, data loss. And the second one is the cost efficiency. With the snacing job running, it's also uh, use the built-in network compression and dedupe to accelerate the data transfer and reduce the uh, network bandwidth. It can reduce the storage cost and the network cost. The third benefit is uh, snacing can help you distribute a big amount of data easily. Sometimes uh, you have to send a big amount of data like uh, uh, when you uh, migrate an array from server room or consolidate a remote office or set up a new branch office. Then Snacing can provide a very fast, flexible mass to move the data. If your business is across a lot of place and uh, all locations need to access the same data set, uh, such as the uh, training video or sales kit, uh, you can use the SNESync to distribute the same data to all locations very quickly. And the fourth benefit is easy to do the copy data manager, what we mentioned in the previous page, and do the data analysis. That is what I mentioned. And the fifth benefit is for data retention, uh, compliance, and the multi version management. For some use case like uh, government uh, regular or regulation or uh, internal policy, they need a data uh, retention period. Uh, so you can combine our snake sync and snake shop and can meet the compliance requirement to protect your data. And the snake shop back up the multiple version to prevent the ransomware and through the real-time snake sync can increase the availability and the disaster recovery. Okay, and the second important feature in this release uh, is QSAIL. What is QSAIL? QSAIL is the abbreviation of QNAP SSD anti-wearing uh, leveling. Uh, it's uh, our um, patent technology. Uh, in the previous live broadcast, uh, we mentioned many times that the SSD has a lifetime limitation. So I believe that user will, will worry about the SSD raid uh, will it be when the SSD uh, fail all, all failed at the same time because the uh, SSD raid is a uh, evenly distributed workload. And here with our uh, new algorithm, QCL, it can uh, dynamically distribute the over provision size of the SSD and the guarantee every SSD has enough time to rebuild before their lifetime is expired. So after H4.5.2, if you create an SSD RAID as a parity type, like uh, RAID 5, RAID 6, 5060, 60, triple parity, we will default enable it automatically to protect your SSD RAID pool. Okay, besides the SNESync and the QCL, H4.5.2 also supports those important features like uh, QTS provide. Uh, we will support the 100 gig ultra speed network adapter for your server room. And uh, for virtualization station, uh, we will support the SRLV to pass through the Ethernet to your virtual machine. It can reduce the, uh, your, virtu your virtual machine's CPU loading and the network latency. And uh, we also update the uh, uh, SMP module to for provide more detailed information to your network monitoring. Also, here has one important message I want to mention. Memory plays a very important role in ZFS and will impact the performance of your storage pool. That's because uh, when ZFS is running with several data reduction features, such like uh, Compaction, uh, phase clone, and the deduplication. Or if your, or your storage pool is 
is a huge size, more than terabytes. And your system needs some table to re record those uh, reference. Then if your memory is not enough, then the performance will drop due to the uh, those table need to store from the memory to your hard drive. So you can refer to our uh, recommendation on the right side, right side of this side, uh, and uh, then you can choose the enough memory for different your your storage configuration. For example, if your DFN S NAS has a uh, sixty giga memory, the recommended uh, configuration of the storage pool will be one large pool bigger than two hundred fifty six terabytes but less than one terabyte. Or you can create two medium size pool between thirty two terabyte to two hundred fifty six terabyte, or create four small pools. Uh, this type of pool configuration will allow your system to achieve the good performance. So if you create a pool that more than or bigger than those recommendation, your NAS will still reliable operate, but potentially uh, maybe the performance will decrease. Here I use our entry level uh, DFS model is use the uh, TS973 AX as a reference to show you the different performance between 8 giga the minimal requirement and the 60 giga RAM. This, uh, this table on the left side we already create one SSD pool and one hardy pool around 35 terabytes and the performance difference over H uh, hard drive pool is displayed like this. Okay. After introduce the new change of uh, uh, H4.52, uh, I will do a quick live demo to let you feel the change of uh, this version. Okay, this NAS is my 1288X and we running the firmware H4.5.2. So after 4.5.2, when you create a new storage pool, you will see the option about the Q cell, can have a SSD and you will leveling. Then if you you are select SSD, create an SSD pool as a, a parity type, RAID 5, RAID 6, 5060, triple parity, then it will be enabled. And the new function SNESync is under the this component is under the snatch snatch backup. So here you create the snatching job, and you can select snatching to remote NAS or snatching from the remote NAS. Okay, then you can define the job name for it. Snatching folder. And select a source share folder or source log. And define the destination address and the its quotation, login potential. And choose the uh, backup frequency. You want to schedule backup or real time sync or do it manually. And also you can define the destination pool and you want to create a new share folder on the destination side or use the existing share folder. Okay, then after create the snacing job, you will see the both you will see on both now side you can see the your know, this job on the list. Okay, so I directly use it. The IP address is 3054, this is destination and the 3160 is the south side. Okay, uh, here I mount two share folder. Uh, this one is uh, from uh, source NAS, the primary NAS. And 
this one IP is uh, 1354 is our destination folders so I copy the data from my local PC to the source NAS to the primary NAS uh, refresh the folder you can see the both sides can see the same files and also you can rename it 23 to 20 if you oh sorry this is a uh, uh, destination NAS so every type is a read only type can, cannot be modified so I modify the file name of the primary NAS you can see the file name change immediately and if I create a new file like uh, snazing okay and that's the data inside I insert 50 and save it you can see the same file pop up on the uh, destination NAS and if I modify any content of it 2, 3, 4, 5 save it and any data uh, is a uh, immediate data copy okay so that's all my live demo of uh, SNESync let's go back to our slider So after live demo, uh, let's continue with our um, recap of our operating system of uh, QTS Hero. We'll let you know uh, what's the advantage of using these file systems. First, for customer who first use the QNAP SMB or Enterprise NAS, we'll always ask, ask what is QTS Hero. Actually, it's an involved QNAP operating system based on QTS, but with the advanced ZFS file system and if more technically uh, if you are interested under in the ZFS branch I will say it's the uh, official out of tree ZFS implementation for Linux some parts of code is from FreeBSD some parts is from ZOL ZFS on Linux and some parts is related to the open ZFS we merge them together uh, into a new branch tree. It provides the better uh, fresh endurance, can take the nearly unlimited uh, snapshot, more than 65,000 snapshots, and integrate the most cloud. Uh, we support more than 30 cloud service provider. Also, all of the uh, virtualized service are ready. And the most important is underlying. It has a data self-healing mechanism provide you the best storage with data integrity so with those advantage our goal is to be the most affordable uh, storage on the market and uh, before the detailed introduction uh, let's quickly highlight uh, five major FSS uh, of the QTS Hero data efficiency uh, data protection data integration uh, stability and scalability app and the converged function first is about the data efficiency and um, for QTS Hero uh, no for the QTS or other uh, consumers NAS the system usually default on sync provisioning uh, all the specs are fixed but with the QTS Hero we default on sync provisioning because it can uh, get the maximum space and we also provide the uh, important function for data reduction like uh, inline compression and the inline duplication with the data stored into the NAS uh, when we data, save the data uh, the CPU helps the data processing through the compression and which encode the information like a document, picture or other form of digital data using a few bits than the original this small file can take less space on the hard drive and are tra transmit faster to your device 
And after the inline data compression, uh, NAS will keep all data in the RAM to compare each block with a duplication table uh, to filter the repeated data already stored in your storage. Then the fill data after dedupe means uh, you not only transmit the data faster, but also save the amount of uh, storage space. VDI is a kind of application can make the better use of this feature. The dedupe rate of the VDI deployment can range as high as 95% saving. So with the data reduction feature and the space reclaimed by sync provisioning, the user could save around 50% space more than the traditional storage. Another benefit of the data reduction is that uh, you can extend the life of SSD. Why? Everyone knows the structure between the hard drive and the SSD is different. SSD is a kind of solid memory and has a limited number of the write cycle before the memory cell failed. Uh, it's actually equal the lifetime of SSD. So if we can decrease the 50% data, it also means we can extend the double time of SSD life. And that's why I say that the data reduction technology is particularly suitable for, for use in all fresh storage. Of course, uh, those are good and powerful function, but also has some limitation or requirement. For example, uh, when you do the inline compression feature, it cannot work on the video already be compressed, like uh, MP4 or a movie which is shot by your mobile phone. It's already uh, be compressed. Only uh, inline compression can work for the raw video. And the inline duplication feature need many resources of RAM. So uh, we will highly recommend you should use more than 64 gig RAM before you enable the dedupe function. The 60 uh, gig is the minimal requirement. And if you can use more RAM, it will be better. Then QDS Hero supports the SSD to be the recache and the ZIL. For recache, uh, DFS will strive the choose the SSD together as a layer to arc to improve the uh, read performance. And for the write SS, uh, it uses the write journal mechanism. The write data will save to the ZIL layer first, then return OK. After that, the ZFS system will move the data from memory or ZIL layer to your storage automatically. It means uh, ZIL can provide the power loss protection for the writing data for when the uh, sync mode. And uh, some customers will worry about the ZFS performance of uh, uh, small block random assays will worse than the EST4. Here, our QTS Hero uh, implement an algorithm and the write collect sync. It will collect uh, many random writes and uh, group them all together, then write into the storage sequentially. It could avoid the weakness point of this part. And uh, for the most enterprise storage, usually occurred uh, one trouble when it runs a long time, no matter ZFS or BTRFS, the performance impact when the storage is nearly full or fragment. This is because the copy on write behavior. After many rounds of a search write process, the distribution of data on the storage pool becomes fragment, which makes it more difficult to new data be writing. Just like the left blue finger picture, uh, when a storage pool is nearly full and fragment, the new writing data block is be, need to be uh, separated in very small parts, then fill to the small free space. Of course, it will impact the performance and uh, your computing power. And for this scenario, we provide a poor over provisioning feature, like a right green picture. Uh, it becomes possible for ZFS to find a continuous big block to store the new data, and then system can recycle the old data block 
This is a technical explanation in, for the hard drive. And for pure SSD environment, when the storage pool is almost full and fragment, SSD has a better random access. But the new write data on block still need to wait the most block to move and then fill the available space. Of course, it will also uh, affect the performance, IOPS, and the latency. Therefore, we enable the pool over provisioning function by default, as shown in the green picture on the right side. It will put all data block uh, in the reserved space and return OK. The writing is complete. And after that, just only move a few blocks to keep the same reverse space size is OK. And another important usage, uh, QTS0 is also suitable for the post-production segment, which require the high performance and the high reliability. No matter you need to support more online editors or support a high resolution from 4K to 8K, it can easily adopt those critical requirements. Especially, you can do the post-production on our old fresh NAS models. But for the small office or some Soho team, you even no need to use the tanky switch or high speed switch. You can just install a multiple tanky adapter on your NAS and make the multiple use concur concurrent online editing directly. Some model like uh, what I recommend is a uh, ATS series can also support a Thunderbolt expansion card for your Mac connection. Okay, the second point is about the data protection. So with the DFS, uh, we have more read option when you create a storage pool. Of course, uh, the RAID 5 here is equal to the DFS RAID Z1, and RAID 6 is equal to DFS RAID Z2. In addition to the traditional uh, RAID type, what we familiar with, uh, use, we can support two new RAID types for more safety purpose. Uh, one is uh, triple parity. It means uh, it allows straight drive can damage it at the same time. The other one is uh, triple mirror, just like uh, RAID 1, but not only mirror one copy. Uh, the triple mirror has the three duplicate data to ensure that even if the disk is damaged more than half, your data is still be safe. Only, only some very serious customer will need it. <laughs> okay, here need to mention is that um, if your red pool want to be is expand the capacity, uh, DFS cannot add a single disk to online expansion. You have to re reverse the enough disk slot for uh, capacity upgrade or. Uh, also, we have a lot of uh, Zbar expansion unit, so you can use use our choose our uh, USB SAS SATA Zbar to expansion the capacity. And for the snapshot protection, uh, we will provide a new snapshot different than QTS. Uh, DFS snapshot is a most lightweight type and very fast to tag. A uh, few seconds can be take a snapshot and the configuration of the minimal interval can be in one minute. And the total support more than 65,000 snapshots. So if you take a snapshot by hourly, then that means uh, 24 hours per day, uh, 365 days per year, that means we can keep the seven years uh, multi-versioning of the snapshot to protect your storage. And not only the snapshot, QTS Hero will provide the complete backup solution. Here at least three different type uh, for backup the NAS data. The first one uh, is the HBS3. It's a file level backup solution with multi-versioning management. User can use it to do the daily or scheduling file backup to remote NAS or to public cloud space. The second one is snapshot and replica. 
it's the bug label also with the multi version uh, measurement and can pro can prevent the ransomware. User can use this to do the hourly backup for your share folder or for your log. Actually, with ZFS, uh, we provide the most lightweight snapshot uh, on the market. So let's when you use this, it will without the impact for performance. The third one uh, is our snapshot feature. It's a new release in this version, H4.5.2. Also, the real-time backup solution to help user mirror the data copy immediately and always keep up to date. It allows the primary NAS and the secondary NAS to keep the data synchronized at any time, anywhere. And besides those key features from enterprise user, uh, QTS Hero also provides some special feature like one for the customer. WOM is used to avoid the modification of safe data. Once uh, this feature is enabled, uh, data in share folder can only be read and cannot be write, cannot be modified. This function usually designed for some spatial department like the military, secret, uh, secret agency, the court, the hospital to keep the important data and avoid the user to modify it. And for the data integrity part, uh, this part is what I feel the most important advantage of DFS NAS besides the snake sync. And also why I use uh, QTS Hero NAS in my home. First, we have to know that the hardware is not always reliable. Sometimes uh, your data may be corporate caused by the hardware issues, uh, firmware or software bug, memory failed, uh, disk failed, cable or network transmission issues, but you never know when it's happened. Only when you launch the fire, but the system pop out the error message just like on this side. And with QDS Hero, uh, it provides the self-healing feature. It's a one is it's a key feature to ensure your system operating. Uh, it can prevent the silence data corruption can check all data blocks and automatically repair the wrong block. So if the uh, uh, data is damaged due to the uh, silence data corruption, the next time when this block is be read, the checksum which we store in the parent block, uh, you will find the inconsistency and the mismatch block will be repaired to ensure the data complete and uh, correct. And besides the self-healing, uh, DFS has an important mechanism and uh, copy on write. It can avoid the data loss when power outage. In the past, uh, when you NAS unfortunately shut down or reboot after the power outage, the system will request you to do the check file system to ensure the data safety. And it need, to, need you to stop your NAS service many hours. But with the QTS Hero, the copy and write mechanism will let you no longer to do the check file system because it's not used the traditional uh, Juno to protect your metadata. Uh, for any data change, it will copy, the new, copy to the new block and redirect the index to the new block after writing. Finally, uh, it will delo uh, delete the old block after the writing. So, if any power outage happened in this period, we can make sure the old data complete and correct. The fourth point is about the stability and scalability. Today it's easy to hear about the topic around the data analysis, you know, customer want to do the edge computing or AI inference, but then all need a very big storage pool to do the uh, like a modeling training or deep learning. The post-production industry also has a similar requirement. For example, um, Blackmagic just announced their new camera. It's a 12K camera and the size of the one hour's footage is around 10 terabytes. It means uh, 20 to 30 uh, footage will out of the original volume limitation, the 200 terabyte. So with uh, our QTS Hero NAS, uh, 
it's considered the trade-off between the high performance and the capacity. Uh, allows uh, you to connect to multiple enclosure to provide a huge, a huge, a massive storage. So you can uh, use our SaaS expansion J bar. It makes uh, everything possible and not only limited by original limitation 200 terabyte. Each NAS can connect to maximum uh, 60 J bars and support more than 40 terabytes raw capacity. And for business usage, we will highly recommend to use the ECC RAN on your system. It's not the necessary equipment, but will increase your system reliability when you use it. That's why not only the DFS forum mentioned it a lot of time, but also all famous storage provider recommend to use the, to use it. So you can order more ECC RAN on Cunable website or from our DST when you purchase the uh, QNAP QDS Hero NAS. And we will support a new app named the DA Drive Analyzer to provide a disk life predictive service. It's powered by uh, a cloud agent which provided by our partner Ulink. Will leverage the usage data of a million of drivers and intelligently predict one of your drive is nearly failure. Uh, allows you to plan your uh, replacement plan or service continuity before the drive failed occurred. And the fifth point of QDS Hero highlights about all the, all of the new app and the converged functions. Again, QTS Hero has a different permission management than QTS. QTS is used the Linux POSIX ACL. Uh, it has the uh, rewrite, read-only, and the deny three basic type, and plus some special permissions. But with QTS Hero, will support uh, Windows Rich HDL has uh, 14 complete, uh, complete permissions, same as your Windows Server. And for the share folder connection with the Samba protocol, now the QDS Hero supports the chipset ASNI for highway acceleration. It will improve the internal transmission efficiency around three times if the IT guy enable the Samba signing and the encryption for security consent. Even you connect by with 10D and when enable the signing and encryption the performance is, will drop to 150 megabyte per second. But with the uh, ASNI highway acceleration, uh, then the performance can get uh, almost three times. Then if you want to connect your local storage to public cloud, uh, QDS Hero also integrate the most cloud. Uh, we support more than 30 cloud service providers, uh, no matter it's a file-based cloud or object-based cloud. We have a file-based storage gateway, it's named a hybrid mount. To, so you can manage your data between NAS and the public cloud. Also, have the, uh, we have a bug-based uh, storage gateway, which is named the uh, VZ bug cloud. It can help you quickly back up your long data to the public cloud. And we have a special app named the QU object. Uh, it can convert a NAS storage space into a S3 simulator. So if you need to deploy the online service in S3 cloud space, then Q object uh, is the best way for you to develop and test before everything going online. Those are the apps what we recommend you should try. And for the uh, virtualized application, QTS Hero uh, model or get the certification from VMware and the Windows Hyper-V. So it can be the best uh, VM shared storage for those hypervisor. Besides being a uh, shared storage, we also have a spatial app named the Hyperdata Protector, HDP. It's the uh, active backup solution at the li and the license free for you backup your VMware and have a V. 
And for other uh, virtualized application, uh, we provide the virtualization station and the container station. Virtualization station is a KVM, uh, kernel-based uh, virtual machine, and it supports the live migration feature when the primary VM failed or maintenance. And the container station is another lightweight uh, virtualized technology can allows you to operate multiple isolated microservices on Kubernetes. And uh, also you can download the apps from the built-in Dark Harbor repository. Okay, then we go to the recommended model. About the recommended model, here I list the top three of my favorite. If you are looking for a silent, the tower model with a powerful CPU, high performance, I would strongly recommend you choose a TBS H12 or 6088X series. It's particularly suitable for the office and can support the Thunderbolt expansion card for Mac connection. And if you are looking for a NAS could, could provide a large capacity, I will recommend you choose the TSH6083 SU or 2483 SU. And if you are looking for the top model, which has the best performance, the lower latency virtualization workload, and suitable for the AI computing, or you need to provide more than 10,000 connections, definitely you should choose our uh, old fresh model, TSH2490FU. Also, many customers want to check the difference between the QTS and the QTS Hero. Here I list a new comparison table for your reference. Uh, you can see the QTS Hero has a lot of benefits, especially the data integrity, and particularly suitable for the business usage. But if you just are looking for a system can easy to use, or you want a good performance, but on the limited budget, and then QDS is also a good choice. Our SMB and the enterprise NAS will support a dual system and let up you just up to you to switch your systems. But you have to know the that the QDS and the QDS Hero are different file system. That means QDS, QDS is a EST4 and the QDS Hero is a ZFS. So it cannot be compatible in two different file systems. So that means the original system migration by uh, transfer disk is not, not supported. If you really want to switch the system or just buy a new QTS Hero NAS, the data in the original disk has no longer be used. You have to back up the data by HBS from original NAS to the new NAS, or back up the, the file to the expansion unit, unit before you switch the, your system. Okay, so that's all the information we want to bring to you. Finally, uh, thank you for your watching today. So stay tuned and we will see you next time. Bye.